Hello everyone, welcome back to Chill Deal Trades, where I may get my job to break down the market so that you know what's going on. Today we are going to cover one of my favorite stocks in the market, Alibaba. I did a video a couple weeks ago about more of the fundamentals of the company, go ahead and check that out. But today we are going to cover just the recent price action and movement. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that sub button and join the squad. Uh, but let's get right into things. So. All the Alibaba investors or lovers who are watching this video, much like me, we had a really significant breakout today. So we broke out above the downward trend line. So this is something I called out in my original video, as well as I'm always posting on stock twits, where some of you might have found me, is this long-term trend line. We finally broke up. And so what you see a lot of time in stocks is when there's like a really important breakout point or breakdown point, you typically have them gap up in the pre-market or post or after market post market after market and that's kind of what happened here they kind of used the low volume in the pre-market to gap it up but we got above this trend line so that's very bullish um, another really bullish indicator is on the RSI so um, what you see is whenever we're above I would say 47 at the lowest we're typically in a bullish phase for the stock but as soon as we go below I would say about 50, we're in a bearish phase of the stock. And so what we saw, we saw RSI get to the highest that has been basically since the peak um, of the stock, since the downturn. So this is a, a short-term, very bullish sentiment for the stock, and we'll have to see if it continues. If this RSI, let me get my little drawly tool, which is my favorite. If we see this kind of come back down and break back below and then kind of do this again, then this was just maybe a short squeeze off the Kathy news, the Kathy Woods news about buying more Alibaba or something like that. Um, but we want this to come down eventually and kind of stay above and stay kind of in that range. That means the overall trend has reversed for the stock because we broke we broke above this trend line and we broke above the trading range on RSI. Those are two very bullish long term indicators for the stock. Uh, a couple other. Uh, price targets I want to kind of call out. So on the gap of we are now in a trading range. So let me get off my little drawly real quick. So we're in a trading range. So this Alibaba loves trading ranges, um, which is a little annoying uh, when it's going down. But we we gapped up above and we kind of have a trading range from 220 to 240. So I could definitely foresee some more consolidation in this area because we've moved so drastically to the upside. Um, the RSI is getting close to overbought, so in the short term, um, we definitely need to cool off a little bit. Again, positives, we broke above um, the trend line. We also, I forgot to mention this, broke above the 50-day moving averages. Um, but let me change this real quick to 100-day because it's important to see that we're on this breakout. We are very close to the 100-day. So 100-day, which was EMA, we're testing. It got above on the candle, but came back down 100 day EMA. Very important. And we haven't got quite caught, got to the 100 day <laughs> simple moving average yet. Um, so those are very important signs that maybe we need to see this stock cool off a little bit. Um, I think with the landscape of the Alibaba's in with all the fear and regulations, this stock is probably not going to be moving at this degree of an angle for the long term. And we're going to see it cool off a little bit. Maybe something like this. It might hold this trend line. Or if it comes down lower, it's going to kind of create a new trend line to the up term and in the upward movement. If we do see a long term, um, if we've caught the the bottom for now, but we're going to want to see it cool off a little bit. After it cools off, some of my price targets that I have for this, uh, the first price target is 241. So I already have my brush up. So 241 is the top of this consolidation range, and then after and ironically so, what um. The top of the trading range, well, let me rephrase that. My first price target is where we're at right now. And the reason is we have the 200 days and we also have this gap up and kind of, we had some consolidation way in the past. And right here is where it gapped up before. And now we're reaching that area of, of resistance. So that's why I think we need to cool off now that we've about hit that. Um, but if we can eventually break up 230, I think 240 is my next short term price. Um, um, kind of goal and then from there it's kind of like the 240 to 245 range um, and then from there 252 and the reason I call these out is when you look back at the stock there's just really important resistance 
which used to be support now is resistance. So we have the bottom of this trading range here, and then we have these multiple candles at the 252 range kind of bounce off it and then break below eventually. And then lastly, my more long-term or intermediate term price target is at this gap fill, which is around 262. So I'll put all these notes in the, um, in the description section. But what, what do you think? Where do you think the stock is headed? Do you think so? these are realistic? Um, where do you think? Where do you think in, say, two months the stock will be? A couple things we want to look out for with maybe the stock needs to relax a little bit before shooting higher. Uh, let me bring this down. So a couple things we want to pay attention to, like I said, RSI is getting a little high, so that tells me the stock needs to cool off for the time being. Um, it might push up maybe to the 100 day, but we need to see something like this. We might hold this trend line. If we don't hold this trend line, then we're going to want to have it hold the bottom of this trading range, which is 220. That's my first area of support. If we don't hold that, then we're going to want to look at the gap fill, which is at... 218. We did see that the gap filled in the aftermarket, but I don't really believe in gap fills in the aftermarket and the pre-market. Um, but what do you think? Do you think aftermarket gap fills are legit or not? So we have 220 support, 218 range, and then after that we really need to hold 215 because 215 is where we saw the initial breakout range. We had this consolidation kind of at this bottom for about a month. And then we broke out above 215. So 220, 218, 215. And then my last draw um, for this is if we can't hold this really low trend line, then the overall trend probably hasn't reversed for this stock. Um, this is just too low of a trend line that if the stock can't hold that, then there's probably it's probably not going going to go higher in the short and intermediate term. So in my best case scenario, I'm going to draw this out is. Maybe we come up and test the 100 day, but we come back down. I would like to test the bottom of this range. I would like to create a new trend line and kind of probably head something like this. I think this is a really healthy angle for the stock. <laughs> nice drawing, but I think that's a really healthy kind of range for the stock to trade in. Not that exact movement, but I think it's a little more healthy. But what do you think? Where do you think the stock is headed? Do you think this is a realistic path? Or do you have a different idea? Or are you seeing something different on the chart? Um, appreciate taking a moment to check out the video. We also have a Discord that's in the description. So go ahead and check out and join us, the community that we're building in Discord. And Saturday and Sunday nights, I stream with my buddy on Twitch where we play video games and talk about the stock market. So that link will be in the description as well. It's called Stock Talk Game. Um, Saturdays we game and talk stocks. Sunday is I just kind of do this charting so you can come in ask me whatever stock you have a question about and i'll chart it live on stream so that's it for today guys have a good weekend and hope to see you again soon